As a result, something remarkable has occurred. Three Atlas has hugged the sun's influence in a manner that appeared initially impossible. That wandering interstellar being sliding into our solar system on a hyperbolic course has just completed a cosmic action that tests expectations about comets, interstellar bodies, and how they respond to solar heating. 3 Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed, contains numerous surprises. We have only seen a handful of blurry shots, but they contain novel chemical signatures. It is producing far more nickel than iron, and scientists do not truly comprehend why. It carries a name that hints at both mystery and discovery. It was found by the Survey System Atlas, and the three marks it as the third known visitor from another solar system's domain. Three Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey. Its course is not a gentle ellipse, but a hyperbola. This is not a body captured into orbit, but one that flings itself through, never to return. As it approaches perihelion, it draws ever closer to the sun, and that moment of proximity promises to be the stage for something extraordinary. What makes the recent behavior of 3 Atlas appear so extraordinary is that it has done so in a way no other comet has before. As solar radiation intensifies, comets typically begin to sublimate. Ices immediately transform into gas, carrying dust and volatiles away. Eventually, a tail and a fuzzy coma are formed. But 3 Atlas has revealed a coma dominated overwhelmingly by carbon dioxide, with water vapor, carbon monoxide, and other volatiles playing secondary roles. Infrared spectroscopy from the James Webb Space Telescope captured this dramatic dominance. The mixing ratio of CO to H Cho in the coma is an anomaly much larger than what typical solar system comets display, implying that the nucleus of Atlas is intrinsically rich in CO or has structural features that suppress water in relation to CO sublimation emission. As the comet gets closer to the sun, it does not just emit in a symmetrical halo. There is evidence of enhanced outgassing in the sunward direction, a plume of dust and gas preferentially pushed toward the sunlight side. That is surprising because normally, the pressure of sunlight pushes material away from the sun, forming a tail in the antisolar orientation. Here, what is being seen is an anisotropic sublimation front, a stronger, asymmetrical material release in the sunlit hemisphere. This shows up as a sun-facing feature, a plume rather than a typical tail, and reveals the individual thermophysical properties of the nucleus, possibly derived from composition, insulation, or layering of surface materials. Even more confounding is a phenomenon referred to as an anti-tail, an apparent tail with a stretched appearance toward the horizon. But this isn't just misleading geometry. In the case of 3 Atlas, the opposition may stem from uneven sublimation and the survival of ice grains oriented toward the sun. Because the mass flux of sublimation in the sun's direction is more powerful, grains ejected sunward may survive longer, forming extended structures and resulting in the visual effect of a tail pointing inward. Anisotropy, the physics of sublimation, and grain survival can produce such anti-tails that are real, not illusions of structural features in the coma environment. The most dramatic, perhaps, was the signal that 3 Atlas switched on suddenly during its approach. Some of its volatile releases are rising in a superlinear, threshold-driven burst, not in a smooth, gradual heating curve, as certain temperature thresholds are crossed. Observers noted that as the comet warms, emissions of cyanide CN and atomic nickel vapor surge in a manner not simply tied to solar flux. The appearance of these species and their significant rise at particular distances from the heliosphere suggest that some process was latent until a critical heating point at which dramatic outgassing broke out. That behavior, turning on more violently than classical comets, is what gives the impression that 3 Atlas is doing something impossible. As it approaches perihelion, 3 Atlas will reach its closest point to the sun around October 29, 2025, roughly 1.36 astronomical units away, positioned between Earth's orbit and that of Mars. 
When that happens, its velocity relative to the sun will be maximal. It is at that point that the sun's heat and radiation pressure act most strongly and when the comet faces its greatest internal dynamic stress. This event, 3 Atlas doing the impossible, is not only about extraordinary emissions but also about the manner in which an interstellar nucleus reacts under solar forcing in real time. The formation of comets within the solar system, models of layering, volatile stratification, and erosion dynamics are grounded in decades of observation. But 3 Atlas is not bound by those histories. It carries the memory of a different place of birth, possibly irradiated or altered in unique environments. Its conduct might be dictated by exotic ice mixtures, unusual porosity, and internal layering of unexpected chemicals, or brittleness in the structure under heat stress. Considering that CO prevails and water is restricted compared to expectations, this suggests the nucleus's thermal conductivity, porosity, or insulative layering may be extreme. It indicates that heat can be directed in ways that trigger steep gradients when thresholds are crossed, causing sudden outbursts rather than smooth transitions. The end result is activation of behavior resembling a switch, something that classic comet volatile release models do not normally predict. Observations using polarimetry add another layer of intrigue. 